So those weren't demons. They were Malakim. Yes. They were probably ordered to hunt down any humans who still possess free will. Inominat isn't whole, and his oppressive powers are not yet absolute. So he must be using the Malakim to find anyone he missed and process them. Sounds like him. Process? Be it a prince, or a little girl. A channeling circle! He's eating their will directly! Look at an entrance like this! It's almost like... Like we're a bunch of heroes. Hey, no fair! He was supposed to say, like what? Yes, thank you. Well, I know I can still feel scared out of my wits at least. <sighs> it's all right now. We'll help you find your mommy and then- Mommy I'll... was executed. They killed her because she stole food to give to me. But that's okay. They had to. Mommy was acting against reason. <gasps> So this is the true face of their suppression. Yes, this is the ideal world sought by Shepherd Artorius. As long as malevolence gave rise to demons, this was the only way. That's why the Kingdom of Midgan consented to his plan. But I will never consent. A world without sadness, but also without joy. A world without hate, but also without love. You suppose the whole world's like this now? No. Even this close to the Empyrean's throne, some here have held on to their free will. Still, we don't have much time. Right. I can feel Inominat's domain spreading even now. It's incomplete, but it's quickly growing stronger. Even we might be suppressed if this keeps up, and then it'll be reason o'clock all day long. <sighs> 
prince. Griffin is doing well. Good. That's good. Uh, I'm happy. Truly. Until now, I thought I was just a tool to serve my country. But when my feelings were being torn from me, I felt myself want something. No, I thought. I don't want this. I don't want to lose who I am. I understand the true horror of this ideal world now. I know it's selfish to put this burden on you, but I beg you, stop all this. Stop Shepherd Artorius. You said something to me once. A bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. And now I say this to you. People stripped of their feelings can never truly be alive. Yeah, that's how I used to be. We're going to defeat Artorius. We're going to make this world one where we can be ourselves. We're doing it for us, not for you. <laughs> You've changed, haven't you? You really have. You used to be a sword wielded by your own hatred. But now, you're in control. You're the one who swings the blade. <laughs> Even if I still don't know when to sheath it. Don't worry. When danger comes, I'll be there to protect you. My, I'm jealous. It must be nice to have a reliable young man like that by your side. It certainly is. Our fee's a gallant soul. Eisen. About Captain Eifried. I dealt with him. But the Abbey... They stomped all over Eifried's pride to achieve this suppression of theirs. With these hands, I will destroy them. Then I'm going to be selfish too. And as just another flawed human being, I will offer a humble prayer that you succeed. I'm pumped. Who wants to go cut our way into this throne of theirs? We can't just barge in, Sword for Brains. We gotta prepare. We stick to the plan. Wake up the four Empyreans and take Inominat's domain away from him. Artorius said the ceremony wouldn't be complete until the Scarlet Knight. Will they complete the ceremony first, or will we awaken the Empyreans? It's a gamble. Well, moping won't get us anywhere. Let's head to Mount Killerhouse. Right. It's time to suppress the suppression! Eleanor. Did the exorcists know about this when they agreed to help Artorius? They couldn't have. The exorcists I know fought for a world where people could live their lives in happiness and peace. But then how do you explain the fact that the exorcists seem to accept what's going on? Maybe that was just what I wanted to believe. It could be that Inominat's suppression is also affecting the exorcists. You mean, Inominat might have taken control of their will and made them his tools? Completely believable. Exorcists are too hard-headed to be open to much persuasion. If I stayed with the Abbey, I might have accepted this world too. Thank you, Lafayette. It's your strength that protects my heart from wavering. You really think so? Of course I do. Have a little more self-confidence. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing I captured you then. That's true. I owe you my gratitude as well. Thank you. Seriously? Quite. To be able to express what's in my heart is a wonderful thing. You still drive me mad, but I can't disagree there.
Right. You've got my support. I've made my choice. I fight. If I'm in this... Leave it to me. Even when not yet the other for for I I'm I no okay. Good. It seems you're both still here inside me, then. It is not as though we desired these circumstances. We're only here because you ate us. I'll make no apologies. You wish to sacrifice us to the four elemental Empyreans, is that it? Yes. I won't apologize for that, either. It matters not. Your sins are nothing a mere apology could ever absolve. I know. At least you're aware of how selfish you are. Good for you, then. Remember this well, Lord of Calamity. No matter how many times I am reborn, I will act the same. As will I. And I as well. Did you say something? Just dreaming is all. But I know now how deep my sins run. Velvet, there's something I've wanted to talk to you about. It's... it's about the Therians. And about Lafayette. Let me guess. The link between us and Inominat. Yes. There's no way of knowing what will happen until we actually try, but... You don't have to worry about me. I said it before. Best just to blame all the wickedness of the world on the Lord of Calamity. Don't you try to shoulder all of this yourself! We exorcists are just as much at fault for letting things come to this. So let me ponder what to do about Kamoana and the rest. But you need to think about Lafayette. There, I've said my piece. I don't know which of us is more stubborn. Still, I've got to face the truth. I've got to tell him. Oh good! This place hasn't been suppressed yet. We're unloading! Give me a hand, will ya? Hey, you listening? Sorry. Something just feels weird. Like there's something tugging at my thoughts. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of that lately. But pull yourself together, yeesh! Yet being the operative term here. We'd better get a move on. Benwick, don't leave Kamoana or Medissa's domain, got it? The Therians are part of Inominat. They should be able to resist suppression to some extent. Aye, aye. You watch yourself too, first mate. Mount Killerouse is at the northern edge of Northgand. Bit of a trek. 
It'd be nice if we could resupply along the way. There's a town, Mercio, near the foot of the volcano. It faces the sea, but the currents lately have been too strong to approach it by water. However, the land route should still be clear. The whole continent has been getting colder of late, not just Northgand. Colder? Could it have something to do with Enominot? Or maybe it's because the elemental Empyreans are asleep. Both sound possible. But think too hard about the cold, and it'll give you the shivers. Yeah, but even so... Whatever the case, our course remains the same. We'll head to Mercio and work from there. Is this Mercio? Three days on watch with no sleep? I was ten freaking minutes late! It's not like the mine is gonna fall apart! Hey, uh... Sure, whatever! If you got business here, go on in! Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> They'll pay for this! so many people lived up here on the northern edge of the world. This town was built around the mining of Flamestone, which can only be found here on Mount Killaraus. So if anything happens to the volcano, this town's screwed. So releasing the two souls here will surely destroy the town. Inhuman, aren't I? Curse me all you want. I have no right to. The Abbey has proven itself just as heartless. People living here must have the will to endure the cold to fight back against this pitiless environment. I'd rather have that strength than feel nothing in the face of my troubles and pain. Agreed. 
A life without feeling is a box of stupid. Yes, a vast container of... of stupid. Right. The question is, can we wake up all four elemental Empyreans with the souls Velvet has absorbed? If Inominat's revival and the Empyrean slumber are related, we should assume we need all four Empyreans to stop him. I think I'll only be able to wake two. There are only two souls left inside of me. Teresa's and Oscar's. Are you sure? Yes. I can tell. I don't know if two Empyreans will be enough to fight him. This is my responsibility. I offer my own soul- well, If we don't have enough, let's knock on Shigure's door. His soul would make a fine sacrifice. Old man Melky or two. His heart's as cold as a witch's teat, but he's free of malevolence. You're truly ready to take on two leggets at once? I was born ready. It's not like they'll sit back and ignore us anyway. And with Artorius and Inominat all tied up with their suppression party, this is the perfect chance to take them out. <sighs> Acting with caution is... a box of stupid, I take it? <laughs> now you're catching on. All right. Leave it to me. So, I'm all stoked for the god waking, but what's the plan? The road to the volcano is on the other side of town. Let's start... What a peaceful, serene place. You sure it isn't just the snow? But doesn't it look pure and beautiful? Well, I think it's pretty too. That doesn't guarantee the citizens will be. <sighs> Not you too, Aizen. Well, they're kind enough to let a shirker stand out in the cold for three days. He might have been up to no good. Every town has sunny spots and shadows. I'm well aware of that, but this discussion isn't leading anywhere. Just think of it like your old job. Yes, I believe I shall. Message for the Abbey's legates. On the next Scarlet Night, I will offer a sacrifice to Mount Killerhouse and strip Inominat of his power. I dare them to try and stop me! She just ate the demon with her arm! She, she's. I am corruption made flesh! Velvet! The Lord of Calamity! <laughs> the city is ours! Flee to the south, puny humans, while your tears dump the snow! The demon lord of Hurry, before our dark mistress sucks the marrow from your very bones! She lead us all! Run for it! We should do this more often. It went well, except... Ow! What was that for? There will be no sucking of marrow. My sister taught me proper table manners. Oh, what a waste. The marrow's the tastiest part. <laughs> it kinda is. At least now the citizens of Mercio won't be swept up in our fight. They already are. We just tore their homes and livelihoods away. This wasn't for them. This was to summon the legates here. That's all. Even so, I thank you for what you've done, O oh fearsome Lord of Calamity. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. 
O oh, exalted Praetor of the Abbey. A whole crowd of people were fleeing south. What happened? Benwick, why are you here? I had a delivery for the first mate. Kurogane and Kamoana are here too. You brought Kamoana? She absolutely insisted on following me. Poor kid said she had a dream that you died, Eleanor. Kamoana. How long do we have until Shigure and the others get here? Hmm. Given the distance, my guess is they won't show up until the Scarlet Night. Then I think I'll make use of that time. Aye, that's what he said. All right then. Everyone go rest up. Good idea. This may be the last breather we get. <sighs> Fee, anything could happen. Don't leave town. Can I... can I stay with you, Velvet? I don't mind, but... you sure? Yeah. Do what you like, then.